engineers are certainly going to be central to reconstructing bridges, roads and buildings that can withstand floods of the future. We know there will be more extreme weather in years to come with climate change and global warming taking a grip on our weather patterns now. And if our roads and bridges and building structures cannot cope, not only will more lives be lost in the future, but the economy will take a severe hammering as well. Let's discuss this with Professor Mohammed Mustafa, who is the academic head of construction studies and surveying engineering at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Professor, thank you so much for your time. You know, listening to our agriculture minister talking about the damage to roads in the province um, just to get to farming areas, let alone other roads. I mean, it's, it's running into the billions of rand. It's already having a big impact on our economy. Can you give us your assessment as a civil engineer uh, and a road expert on why these roads got so damaged? All right. Uh, first of all, we have to know that uh, water is the main enemy of roads. So basically, roads are designed to carry vertical loads from the vehicles moving over the roads and not to carry horizontal roads. And secondly, uh, water can uh, basically uh, uh, compromise the structure integrity of any road. So when we design our roads, we try to minimize the voids which allow water to go through. And this is the normal water we are talking about, normal rain. So when it comes to floods, it will be very, very challenging to resist floods action because basically they come on horizontal direction which is uh, 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 not meant to be uh, resisted by the road. And secondly, they basically loosen the soil under the surface of the road, and then you will have no structure integrity. So the solution is not to uh, uh, find a design which is uh, uh, resistant to uh, uh, this type of flood, but rather is how to ensure that the floods don't go through our roads. So uh, uh, the stormwater network is very important. The design of a stormwater network is very important. Uh, the location of the roads is also very important. So we need to forecast where floods will take place. We need to forecast where floods will uh, uh, move, I mean, in terms of uh, uh, flood paths. And then we can build and plan first, plan our roads to be built a little bit away from the expected effects of such floods and uh, uh, then to ensure that stormwater and uh, drainage design is done properly to uh, accommodate the expected mm. flood. And the problem is uh, uh, we shouldn't plan for the short term. Normally when we design our roads, we design them for uh, 15 to uh, 20 years uh, of lifetime. And uh, uh, if we expect uh, floods to take place within this period, then we design uh, for this period. But the problem is maintenance. We are not maintaining and upgrading our infrastructure regularly. So we wait until they are mm. basically losing their uh, structure integrity to intervene. Yeah. Are you, are you also suggesting that if our stormwater drainage system was properly maintained, uh, we, w we might not have seen such bad damage to our roads? Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, maintenance is not a luxury thing. Maintenance is essential. Routine maintenance, which is uh, sometimes daily, weekly or even monthly activities, they are very important activities. And the problem is we take them lightly, we are not giving them the proper attention. We reduce the budgets allocated to maintenances uh, yeah. uh, from time to time. And when we need money for any uh, reason, we just look at maintenance money and then we try to take it and use it somewhere else. And this is wrong practice. Maintenance must be priority because basically we spend millions on maintenance today to save billions mm. tomorrow. You know, we keep hearing this phrase, we've got to build back better. What you're saying to me is um, if we have to rebuild certain roads, we might have to reroute those roads and build them in different areas, which I would imagine is quite expensive. Are, are civil engineers being consulted? Are you involved in a process to advise government on where these roads should be built, on how these roads should be built, on where the stormwater drains should be? Because if we don't do that, surely we're just going to keep making the same mistakes again and again. 
uh, it's not about making the same mistakes again. It's about proper planning. And uh, sometimes the decisions are taken, uh, taking into consideration the current needs of different societies and communities, especially that if we have some sort of informal settlement built somewhere and we need to give them access. Uh, so we, we, we don't plan for people to be uh, allocated, uh, so to people to be relocated at the wrong, uh, at the right uh, areas, but rather we try to serve them with uh, their needs without looking into what effects of planning uh, can be uh, uh, done. So uh, what's happening is uh, the process of building a road, for example, is a long process. It starts from uh, town planners, where they choose where roads and uh, where uh, communities should be based. And then it goes to uh, roads engineers, where they go into transportation planning system and look at how roads can connect, be connected to the current network. And also, where is the best uh, uh, location? And what is the best route? What is the optimum route? So we take into account a lot of uh, considerations, and uh, these considerations uh, should be made by not only civil engineers, but town planners, uh, sometimes uh, uh, people from economic background as well. Uh, the effect of the uh, local communities and the political agenda uh, can be part of the process. And in fact, it should be part of the process, but it shouldn't oversee uh, the other parameters which uh, sometimes are more important, especially the budget, because sometimes uh, a 10 percent reduction in a budget uh, can be a significant issue uh, during construction mm -hmm. phase. However, during maintenance phase and lifetime of that road, this 10 percent will be spent uh, 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 multiple times. Yeah. So uh, consultation uh, with academia is important. Uh, consultation with uh, 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 professionals in the uh, uh, area is important. However, I have to say also uh, in, in the local government, we have professionals who are uh, well equipped to uh, uh, give advice as well. So uh, it's not only about uh, taking a decision based on needs, but decision based on uh, forecasting the future yeah. and what's going to happen, especially with the climate change. All right. Thank you so much. Such an important discussion because we cannot just quickly fix um, because the disasters will keep on coming. And if we don't do uh, the detailed maintenance work, we are going to be sitting with this problem again in a few years' time. Thank you so much, Professor Mohammed Mustafa. He's the academic head of construction studies and surveying engineering at the University of KwaZulu-Natal.